Hi guys, it's Cheka Kolar Matt. Annyeonghaseyo, Madam Nida, Cheka Kolar Nida. Today's video will be a little different. I'll be drinking a beer, testing it out, trying some oranges, and I'll be talking about what I did for Christmas. So give it a whirl. Sit back, have a drink, have an orange, do whatever you want. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay. So first off, height. Christmas. I'm not too sure about this beer. I have done hype before. This may be the same tasting beer. I'm not too sure. But it does say on there Christmas edition. So there's the front. You can see there's an elk or a reindeer, maybe Rudolph, the red nosed reindeer, hype Christmas. And in the corner there it says Christmas edition. The percent alcohol. Well, check it out. 4.3%, so it's a little low. I'm pretty sure most Korean beers are in the range of 5% alcohol. So this is height. I'm not too sure what the regular height is. Maybe I'll check my earlier videos, but I'm pretty sure it may be 4.3. But this may be a special edition, so we'll open her up. Christmas uh, edition. Oh yeah. So really light yellow color. Maybe like hay color or wheat straw color. Little light. The carbonization maybe medium to high. A lot of carbonization, smell. Smells like just your average height beer or your regular drink beer. Like a beer you can drink maybe five, six of in a time. You can just chug this back, maybe no bite. We'll give her a little taste. So you got the barley taste. A little bit of hops and then alcohol aftertaste it's not that bad but again it's just your average drinking beer it's not a premium beer it's just a beer you can pick up at the store for like a dollar fifty and drink one or two to relax so I just give it average score maybe five or a six right down the middle maybe five point five I think it this one maybe tastes a little different than the regular height I'm not too sure if I haven't had height in a while that's why it tastes a little different but it tastes a little strange it tastes almost like there's a higher barley flavor in this one than the regular height. So average beer. 5.5. And now Christmas orange mandarin. So in Canada they have these too. In Korea they have them too I guess. So this is a orange mandarin from Jeju. And usually you eat these around Christmas time. So that's why they're called Christmas Orange or Christmas Mandarin. Peel this little guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there you go. You got your orange. You got your orange peeling. Cracker open. Your orange. Usually these ones will taste sweet. Mm -hmm. These Christmas oranges in Korea, they're super sweet. Almost like candy. They're really awesome. However, they are pretty expensive. In Korea, fruits can be super expensive 
especially watermelon and like special edition fruit. Sometimes for holidays like Christmas, New Year's, Chuseok or Korean New Year's, they'll have sets. And it'll be like five or six oranges or five or six pears or apples. And they'll charge like fifty dollars, ten dollars an apple. They're super expensive. But the rest of the year, maybe an apple one, two dollars. It's still really expensive compared to Canada. But on the gift cards, so the gift sets, they're super expensive. Even in Japan, it's more expensive too. Watermelons, they make square watermelons. And they'll sell for like $100. It's crazy. But yeah, this orange mandarin, small and sweet. And to the point. Crack open another one. These are really easy to peel, I guess. Sometimes oranges have really thick skin. This skin is really light and thin, easy to peel. Let's see if this one is sweet. Mmm. -hmm. This one is a little more sour. I've noticed with the mandarin oranges. The bigger they get, the less sweet they are. You got a really small mandarin orange, it'll be super sweet. You get the bigger ones, they'll be a little sweet, but they'll be more sour, more citrusy. Mm -hmm. Some pretty big chunks there. Orange chunks. Jeez. This one's super big. I thought it'd be like two, three slices, but that's just one. Jeez, that's crazy. So the oranges. 8 out of 10. Very, very, very delicious. Yum, yum, yum. So now, you guys, I'm done my eating, except for the occasional beer drink. Cheers. I'll be talking about my Christmas and what I did and how it was. So for my Christmas this year, I just stayed at cameraman's house and we... Together with our family, we ate bulgogi for the breakfast, which is basically really thin sogogi or thin beef fried in like super sweet, maybe little tangy sauce. So bulgogi, beef, super thin, fried and tangy sauce, and it's very delicious. So that's what I had for breakfast, bulgogi and rice. It was good. And after we had breakfast, we opened up some gifts. Probably my best gift this year was my VR headset. It's actually really cool. I know many people have these now, but this is my first one. You put your cell phone in here, and then you look through the glasses, and it makes everything 3D or cinema style. This one I use with my iPhone. It was only like, I think, $10 around there. And it's super awesome, especially for YouTube. Every YouTube video almost now has a Google Cardboard thing. If you go to the top of the video and you see there's three dots, you click on the three dots, and you click Google Cardboard, and you can watch any video in cinema mode. Cinema mode is really good on YouTube right now. I was so amazed, actually, after I bought this. 
Because when you put it on and you turn, it's like you're in a theater and you can turn and look at the screen. It's pretty good. And the 360 VR on YouTube is amazing too. There's a couple channels that do 360 VR and then the best ones are 360 VR 3D. You get 360 with 3D, it's amazing. It's just like watching the theater. There are some movies on YouTube, like full length movies, and it's just like watching in the theater. And if you search around on your phone for a bit, you can find movies on other sites, and especially like brand new movies that have been out maybe one, two years, you can find, and it's awesome. It's exactly the same as going to the theater and paying $10 a movie. So yeah, this, my highlight for Christmas, for gifts. Another thing is, after we ate and opened gifts, me and the cameraman went to coffee shop. We talked, you know, we had fun, we just spent Christmas together, walked in the park. Very good day. So this year Christmas was very good. For the movies, on Christmas I really didn't watch any movies this year, but actually on Christmas Eve, we watched together our family. We watched Home Alone 1 and Home Alone 2. So we got both the Home Alones. Home Alone 2 and Home Alone 1, awesome movies. They're really super funny. Home Alone 3 wasn't on. But in Home Alone 3, they changed the main character, Macaulay Culkin. So it, was, it went downhill. So Home Alone 1, everyone who doesn't know it, I'll give a little quick run by. Home Alone 1, the family goes to Paris and they accidentally leave their son at home. So, and there's two burglars that are burglaring the neighborhood and they're waiting for that big family to go, the McAllisters, they're waiting for them to go to Paris. But actually Kevin stays home and he tricks them for a little bit. But then he actually, the burglar sees Kevin all alone so they plan to rob his house at night but Kevin builds traps little contraptions to catch the guys and to hurt them and then actually he, it's a really funny movie if you've never seen it I'd say watch it it's worth a watch especially the Christmas and New Year's time because it is a Christmas movie and the second movie Home Alone 2 is the same situation but in New York his mom and dad and the whole family again they go to Miami and Kevin accidentally gets mixed up in the airport and he goes to New York. So this time he actually is at his uncle's house and makes contraptions for the bad guys. Which is pretty funny. Home Alone 2 I'd say is a little more funnier. It's kind of a little more polished but it's kind of the same storyline. Just instead of being at his home he's in New York. So Home Alone 1 and 2 very good holiday movies. If you want to Watch a movie with your family, I'd say watch Home Alone 1 and 2. They're very good movies for Christmas. Mm, what else can I say? Mm. I've been seeing some comments too, that's very good. Thank you guys for commenting. You can always comment. I like comments. I've gotten some messages too. On YouTube messages, if you message me, I'll get back to you maybe in one or two days probably. But on YouTube messages, I have to log in on a computer and check the messages. So it's a little harder. But I've messaged some of you guys back, so check your messages. Thank you guys for messaging me. And in the future, I'll probably go back to my reviewing of like beer and Korean candies. I have some more... Korean candies planned up for next week and the week after. I got a bunch of reviews actually planned. I might do some movie reviews and I might do more talking about like me and my life. So if you guys like that, you can subscribe. If you don't like that, um, sorry, but that's what I'll be doing on my channel. So you guys leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching my videos. And I hope you had a happy Christmas. And I hope your New Year's is awesome. So you can leave a comment down below how your Christmas was and what do you plan on doing for New Year's. For New Year's actually this year, I think I'll just be staying at home with the cameraman and my daughter. We'll probably do a countdown at our house and maybe talk on the phone. 
to my parents in Canada. But I don't think I'll be going out partying or doing anything this New Year's. So what is your guys' plans for New Year's and how was your Christmas? Thank you guys. Remember, you can always leave a question, a comment, or a concern. Check a call out.